Moving on to another developing story that is breaking on Weon this hour in an exclusive finding hours after the Indian government announced a new interlocutor for the state of Jammu and Kashmir, Weon has now accessed details of an exclusive report, the role of Dineshwar Sharma in Kashmir. Now, the government of India being very tight-lipped, very particular that the interlocutor did not have any kind of political affiliations and will take the lead when it comes to the dialogue process forward by meeting with all the key stakeholders. He'll be meeting and interacting with some of the stakeholders in Kashmir as well and reporting back to the Jammu and Kashmir government as well as the center where he'll be laying down the groundwork and the foundation immediately. But the dialogue and the talks will depend entirely on the stakeholders. Let's go to Weon's associate editor, Palki Sharmaupadhyay, joining us now in the Weon newsroom with the very latest. Palki, at this point, uh, what type of information do we know about the interlocutor, uh, Mr. Sharma? Well, the man himself, uh, he's had uh, uh, an illustrious record. Uh, he's a retired IPS officer of the 1979 batch, Kerala Kada. He has served in Jammu and Kashmir on various occasions. More importantly, most importantly, rather, uh, he joined the Intelligence Bureau in uh, January 1991. And he was posted in Kashmir uh, uh, the very next year. And during this period, the militancy in that uh, in that state was at its peak. So he has seen it uh, uh, at, at close quarters. And he also handled the Kashmir issue from the IB headquarters as director of the Intelligence Bureau. So this is uh, really his area of operation. He understands the state. He understands the challenges. And uh, I'm sure he's also been in touch with the, the stakeholders. So it'll be easier for him to talk. Uh, he also has the experience of handling insurgency in Nagaland and Manipur. Uh, in, in fact, uh, you, you m might recall that the government of India recently appointed him for talks with insurgent groups of the Northeast, uh, other than Naga groups, in, in, including the Ulfa, the Bodos, the Kuki groups of Manipur. So uh, as far as talking with different sides to, to arrive at some sort of consensus is concerned, that is also an area where Dineshwar Sharma has some sort of experience. Uh, the important thing to note here, Archit, is that this is not the first time that the center has appointed an interlocutor. This has been done in the past, including uh, by BJP governments, and the results have been, uh, have been different. But this is a very uh, challenging period for the authorities when it right. comes to tackling uh, militancy in the state. And uh, this uh, should be seen uh, as, as, as a positive step forward. All right, let's also bring in Weon's political editor, Kartika Sharma, also weighing in on this story, getting his perspective on this. Kartika, good evening to you. In terms of next steps or uh, in terms of what we can expect from Mr. Sharma in dealing with the situation in Kashmir, what are the likely scenarios that could play out? See, there are three things. <clears throat> this is a way out for the government of India for the hard tactic it has played in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, there has been a report of the uh, late uh, Dili Patankar, who, who happened to be the former editor of Times of India, uh, Mrs. Kumar, and uh, Mr. Ansari. Now, that report of the UPA, which went on to interact with the civil society elements of the Kashmir, was not implemented. So now what has happened is another interlocutor has been appointed. Now, a lot of people are saying that he's an IB guy. But uh, Atul Jari Vajpayee, uh, in 2000, after Mr. Dulat retired as the uh, chief of the RAW Research and Analysis Wing, which is the external uh, intelligence agency of India, was appointed as officer on special duty in the Prime Minister's office. And he turned out to be a dove and he was in charge of the Kashmir affairs. So, you know, intelligence has always played a part when it comes to Kashmir. Now, what it says is that reality bites. There has to be a talk. Muscular option does not fail. Second, the government of India also understands that unless and until they create a face-saving device for Mehbuba Mufti, the administration will never stabilize. Right. And I would say, the lastly to conclude my point, it is not without significance that 48 hours back, Mehbuba refused to be part of a state function. And she said she is not well. And then within 48 hours, this uh, declaration has taken place, goes on to tell us that there is a strain in the PDP-BJP alliance, but it should be welcome because in politics, there is no hard tactic. The dialogue is the way forward. People to people talk is the way forward. As summarized by the former Indian Prime Minister, Rudhari Vajpayee, Kashmiriyat and Insaniyat and Jamuriyat, which is state, which is Kashmir, Jamuriyat, which is people, right. Insaniyat, which means humanity.
All right, Kartika Sharma getting us perspective. Let me quickly go back to our associate editor, Palki Sharma Upadhyay, joining us in the newsroom as well. Palki, you know, is this, uh, how can we perhaps read this move in terms of uh, uh, appointing Mr. Sharma uh, to deal with the situation in Jammu and Kashmir? Is this perhaps a strategic move and what can we expect in the coming weeks to months? Uh, you have to look, you have to look at uh, what's happened over the past few months to understand why it was important for the government to to show that it it wanted an inclusive policy. Remember last year, uh, for the better part of last year, the schools remained shut. Uh, uh, there was there were incidents of stone pelting. There was a lot of controversy over how the situation was handled, both by the center and and the state government. So uh, there is a lot of healing that needs to be done. Remember, the union home minister has been visiting Kashmir fairly regularly. He was there from the 9th to the 12th of September, and uh, it's important to note, note these numbers, Archit. Uh, 87 delegations. He met 87 delegations comprising eight. 100 people. He was trying uh, to, to tell one and all in Kashmir that his doors are open and he wants people to come and discuss and put their uh, issues on the table uh, to be discussed threadbare. Now this appointment of a special representative is an effort to take, to take that step forward. That consultation process has to continue in the weeks and months ahead and that is what uh, uh, Mr. Sharma has been, uh, has been assigned to do. Where that leads the people of Jammu and Kashmir still remains to be seen. This is a, a very challenging task to say the least. All right, Plucky Sharma, Upadhyay, and Kartika Sharma getting us the very latest on this story. Thank you for all those inputs and updates.